I've been researching sarcomas, particularly osteosarcoma, um, because my focus is uh, adolescents and young adults, and sarcoma makes up a, a large proportion of the cancers that affect that age group. And within sarcomas, um, we're trying to come up with new combinations of drugs that will be effective in treating these types of cancers, uh, in part because the current treatments just aren't good enough. They're toxic and they make people sick and still a large proportion of people will die from sarcomas despite current treatments. Osteosarcoma, for instance, is a cancer where the genome is in complete disarray. There is no one particular gene or protein that really defines the disease as opposed to some other sarcomas like alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma, which has a, a specific fusion that really drives that cancer. And so looking at these two different cancers in two different ways makes a lot of sense from a science standpoint as well as from a clinical standpoint. Being a physician scientist, the importance of the work in the lab is driven home on a daily basis. Um, I see patients in the clinic who I have to tell them that I have no medicines that, that are going to be able to cure them. That's not okay. We need, we need to be making more progress, faster progress. And you know, these, these sarcomas uh, can be very aggressive and very devastating. And the treatments that I've got right now, even the ones that aren't gonna cure, cure patients, can be really rough. Um, and you know, sometimes patients actually decide not to get these treatments because it's not actually gonna improve their quality of life. So we've got a long ways to go, uh, but we're, we're getting there. And I, and I, I do believe that if, if we're learning more about the biology, we're gonna be able to get get the new treatments out there, get them into clinical trials, and, and start making a difference.